Hey folks, CW3 Troutman here on characteristics and wear of flight clothing, specifically AC, U2s, and flight gloves. Uh, fire resistant means the fabric will not support ignition. When exposed to flame, this, the garments provides three seconds of protection in blast burn situations. So it's not burn proof, it's fire resistant. It's lightweight, it's designed to temporarily protect us from fire. It's made of Nomex. So that's why it's considered a flight suit. Uh, it should fit loosely. The sleeves should reach down to your thumbs when your hands are at your side. Your pants, they should fit over your boots in the seated position. Um, on that Nomex, the characteristics, 7 to 800 degree char. Um, it doesn't melt or drip. So it's comfortable to wear, um, kind of like cotton. So inspection procedures for all this stuff. Rips, tears, holes, stains, zippers, burns, snaps, Velcro, waist adjustment straps, worn and faded area. Uh, depends on the worn and faded, but just remember it's a CIF issue. So if you have something that needs DX, bring it in to us. We'll take a look at it. We don't really have the means to fix it right now with the fire resistant thread. So we'll probably help you DX it um, and go to CIF and get you some new uniforms. So that's how we do that. Uh, remember those half inch rips or tears don't put any patches on them. Just bring them in with we'll DX them When you launder this uniform Up to 180 degrees water. Is that medium water? Medium hot Probably good uh, You want to dry it less than 180 degrees. So there's your key number 180 um, detergent uh, Follow the manufacturer's guide on that and dryer sheets don't use it all so they'll be a little staticky, but we don't iron them, so it's not a big deal. Uh, store brand or generic detergent. Um, you don't wanna use soap or fabric softener or bleach. Soap is flammable, leaves a residue on the, on the uniform. So um, it's a bad thing. All right, let's go right into flight gloves. This is a size 11, which I, uh, See how it fits. It covers your wrist for protection. Your sleeve goes of your uh, Nomex jacket goes over, velcroed over, so you have that double protection there. Shouldn't have any rips, holes, or tears in them. Pretty easy to see. They're made from sheepskin with a non slip quality and high resistant polyamide fabric, green. Again, seven to 800 char. They won't melt or drip. Um, they should fit snugly to provide dexterity. So again, come into your Alcy shop. We might have an extra pair or can find a pair for you to try on if you're not sure about what your size is. Um, and that, that way you get the right fit. When we talked about some of the characteristics, uh, when you're doing your flight glove inspection, what to look for, those rips, holes, and tears, those fingers really peel apart. Usually that's, that's usually the big one. If, if your gloves get real, real, real dirty from oil, saturated with stain, fuel, then we'll get those changed out too. Unfortunately, it's a CIF item, so bring them in and we'll help you get to CIF and get these changed out. Cleaning, you're going to uh, hand wash them. You're going to actually stick your hand in them like this. Both gloves, go to the sink, wash it with that mild soap or detergent with warm water, and then you're just going to take them off. You're gonna lay them flat to dry, just like that. And they'll dry 24 hours less, 12 hours. Should be good to go. That is care and maintenance of your flight suit, ACU2, and flight gloves. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Any questions, please come to the Aussie shop. You can see me, Chris Wilson, fancy lad. We'll take care of all your needs. See you on the next one.